The Fishing Pond in Ocarina of Time was such a fun minigame. But you know what really grinds my gears? The fact that we can only fish in this small area. In a world as robust as Hyrule, we are restricted to this silly pond. But today, I don't care if this guy's going to yell me or not, we are taking this fishing rod all across Hyrule on the ultimate fishing adventure. And going fishing in all the spots I always wanted to. Like a boss fight. I hope you enjoy. This past month for me was a bit odd. Mentally, I had gone fishing for quite a while. But the reason why was because I was bedridden with a very bad cold. And I spent about a week there, just in my bed, sleeping, binge watching shows, and recovering. That was my life. Now, Helix Sleep has been a longtime supporter of this channel, and I can say 100% without a doubt that their bed made that experience a lot better. They produce premium customized mattresses. I got my bed over a year ago after taking their sleep quiz online, and having spent entire days in this bed, I can confidently say the results were accurate. Everyone is different, so their sleep quiz helps identify your customized needs. I'm a back sleeper who likes medium firmness, and their Dusk Lux mattress was perfect for me. Everything is delivered right to your door with free shipping in the US. The mattress is rolled up, and the bed frame I got was very easy to set up. Of course, trying out a mattress is important, so Helix has a 100 day sleep trial to make sure you love it. If you don't, they'll pick it up and give you a full refund. There is also a 10 year warranty and flexible financing options available. As a YouTuber who just, uh, completed my spend a week in my bed challenge, <laughs> I honestly can say I love my Helix. If you're looking for a new bed, definitely check out Helix. Clicking my link in the description below or going to helixsleep.com slash swankybox will get you up to $200 off your Helix mattress and two free pillows. And of course, a big, big thanks to Helix for their continual support of my YouTube channel by sponsoring this video and for honestly making last month a lot easier for me. So let's take a second and talk about this fishing pond. Now, what's interesting, uh, like other NPCs that are behind counters, the fisherman literally has no legs. He is a floating torso who is constantly scratching his armpits, and yet he has no legs. He's just sort of floating behind the counter, which is really weird. Now you Zelda enthusiasts out there probably know that there is a glitch that you can do to get the fishing rod out of this place. So you can use hover boots and walk out onto the water, and while you're hovering, you cast your line, then you fall into the water, and you can basically use this to get your rod out of this area. And when we exit to Lake Hylia, we will be holding an invisible fishing rod. The problem is, the second we try casting this bad boy, um, we're gonna soft lock. Link will be forever stuck in this position, and there's nothing we can do. Now this setup is not what we want as a fisherman. We actually want to go fishing. And the problem is that upon leaving the fishing pond, all of the fishing related objects and actors are unloaded, which is why we have no fishing rod in our hand. So we need to summon the almighty power of the fishing pond to our location. And we can do this by injecting the actors and objects into this scene. But there's another problem with that. And when we try to load this stuff in, um, all of it sort of spawns out of bounds. The problem is Lake Hylia is really, really big and the default area in which this pond spawns is actually out of bounds and way up in the air. Now this sucks because I can't actually talk to the fisherman while in midair and he's too far away to talk to. So we want to spawn a crate floating in the air, stand on top of it and then <laughs> signal down to our legless fellow and have him rent us a fishing rod. Cool, now we have a fishing rod. All the fish spawned out of bounds and fell into the great beyond. <laughs> so, so there's no fish in Lake Hylia. All of them were in the void and they all fell to their death, which is super pleasant. Very, very pleasant. Even if we wanted to try to go back to Lake Hylia, there is a certain distance in which you can walk out to before the fisherman starts yelling at you. And he actually keeps warping us back up onto the hill, preventing us from getting to the water at all. So this map is a bust, but we're moving on. We're going to Kokiri Forest to fish in the ponds inside the town. So Kokiri Forest as an adult is obviously overrun by monsters. So we try loading in our fishing set and uh, <laughs> he kind of spawns floating by the tree by Link's house. Now we can utilize Z targeting to have him give us a fishing rod and now it's time to fish. It's actually kind of sad. A lot of the fish don't spawn in the water. They just load in and they're flopping on the ground and there's like this giant pile of fish that are basically suffocating endlessly and uh, it's very <laughs> terrible. <laughs> but uh, there are some fish that did low in the pond so we're gonna focus on those. There's also some fish that are swimming beneath the map. 
Apparently, beneath the ground, there are fish and all the other objects that load in with the fishing pond. So there's that. So we start casting a rod out, but if we get hit by an enemy, that's going to interrupt the fishing animation, I suppose? And it leaves us with our line extended, yet now we can walk around. So I ended up clearing out all the enemies to make this a little bit more easier, and now we're going up top on this little bridge area and fishing in the pond down below. Now, you'll notice, at least in some of these areas, that when I cast my fishing rod outward, only certain walls will actually stop the lure. A lot of times, if the cast is far enough and high enough, it will just clip through the wall. So yeah, it's kind of broken, but we pull our lure back into the pond and we snag a fish. At this moment, it was actually kind of surreal. Like, just thinking back, like, I am fishing at an area that I could never fish at as a kid, and I was just super, super happy. Like, it always bothered me that we couldn't do this in this game. And then we have games like Dark Cloud 2 where you can, like, fish anywhere in the dungeons and stuff like that, and I loved it. But trying to catch a fish here at sunset was very surreal. Now, there's an issue with my setup, and it goes to show that the developers never thought about vertical distance when it comes to reeling in your fish, because I cannot get this fish up to me. Like, for some reason, the fishing rod only works horizontally. There is no way to get the weight of the fish off the ground and suspend it in the air, because normally at the fishing pond, this is never a thing. It was always about pulling the fish horizontally out of the fishing pond and to link. So when we find ourselves in a vertical situation, well, uh, we just kind of have to hope. My first fish I miss out on, but on my second fish, I decide to turn the rod to the left. And what happens is the fish skips off the wall and then jumps up high enough off the wall so that it comes to the bottom of the bridge and lands on it. And at that point, I finally catch my fish. Somehow, some way, I caught a fish in Kokiri Forest and I felt amazing. But let's go to the extreme. I want to go to the highest point in the game where there's water down below you. And, uh, Gerudo Valley is up next. So Gerudo Valley has a massive ravine under the bridge, and way down below is a raging river. So we go to the desert, we load in our fishing pack, and, um, the fisherman spawns way above the ravine. For some reason, and I never knew this was a thing, but you can talk to this guy really, really far away. In fact, being able to talk to him here taught me that, and I use it in basically every example going forward. So after our long distance conversation, we get our fishing rod and we go to the bridge. Now the first thing I wanted to try was, okay, I wanna cast my line off this bridge and see if I can make it in the water below. I was very surprised to see that we could cast our line all the way down below, but then there was an issue where it basically didn't reach the water and it slowly started retracting back to Link. It was kind of glitchy because it was like suspended in the air and there was like no ground it was touching. So the fishing rod was definitely displaying some really odd properties. Doing this off the backside of the bridge did the same thing. And at this point I realized it's time to go down below. Now we have to go down below because all of the fish that spawned in, all of them fell down below into the river. So I dive down to the rocks below and I land elegantly on my neck. After some emergency neck surgery, it's now time to fish. And the fish down here kind of load in a little weird so the pond has like this layer that counts as water for the fish, but it isn't the same water that Link swims in. So you'll see that fish are sort of floating a little bit in certain areas, but they do swim up into this river and we can use this side ledge to actually fish in this raging river. And again, fishing down below in this ravine at sunset, mmm, it's perfect. I would have loved to do this 23 years ago, but I'll settle for today. Now, nature is nice, and there's a lot of cool outdoor places that I would love to fish at in this game, but we need to do something a little bit different. We're gonna go to Morpha, the boss of the water temple, and turn that boss room into a fishing paradise. So we load into the boss room, and we disable Morpha. We'll add Morpha back in a little bit, but we want to make this a fishing paradise before that happens. And you may have noticed this in the video, but loading in the fishing pond typically brings about this effect that is sort of like a shader. It's like this glistening effect and sometimes it affects your footsteps. But as you can see here, it totally just overtakes this entire room. The aesthetic of this room completely changes. It's like one of those home remodeling shows. We turned a boss room into an amazing bath. The fishermen spawned out of bounds, so I go to the wall and I mash the Z button and the A button like a madman, hoping that Navi will lock onto him, and eventually she does. And we just have a conversation with the wall, and eventually we pull a fishing rod out of this wall. But it was very interesting, because now the fishing rod was glitched. I was able to swing the fishing rod like a sword, but I didn't have a sword equipped, and I could really only do basic slashes and nothing else. 
So I basically had to rewind time and do this over, and eventually I fixed the rod, and then I started to fish here. So even though this room is surrounded by spikes, it was very relaxing watching all these fish swim around. But Morpha's back in town, and the boss fight begins. So as you can see, the cutscene where Morpha sneaks up on Link starts playing, and as the camera moves, you can see the fish in the bath. I honestly had no idea what was going to happen here, but uh, watching Morpha sneak up a link when he's holding a fishing rod is very humorous. <laughs> and it honestly blew my mind how broken the game gets. The game was really struggling to make all this happen. And something that's interesting is that the shader effect from the fishing pond is applied to the fog of Morpha. Or at least that's what I think is happening. Because Morpha's fog turned to this weird grayish blue that I couldn't see past. You know, I was just trying to mind my own business and fish when Morpha grabbed me from the fog and pulled me in. Now my fishing line was out when I got grabbed, so they threw me across the room while still in fishing mode. And upon landing, I turned around, accidentally pulled out my hook shot, and the game crashed. So my new goal was to try to catch a fish before Morpha crashed the game. So on my second attempt, I actually got a fish on the line, and I was reeling it in furiously. I was so close, and then Morpha grabbed me, and while the fish was still on the line, threw me across the room. But as I was being swung back and forth in the animation, I was still furiously reeling that fish in. I mean, it didn't really mean anything because the fish couldn't travel vertically to reach Link because he was up in the air. But of course, after I was thrown across the room, I turned around and the game crashed. But the fact that I got a fish on the line proves that I can probably catch a fish before Morpha grabs me. So third time's the charm. I cast my line out, I hook a fish, and I just catch the fish before Morpha grabs me. So I'm out here trying to weigh my fish while I'm getting strangled by Morpha, while I'm trying to have a conversation through a wall with Itchy Fish Boy, and this just made the game implode. <laughs> the game just crashed on the spot, and this was the end of the adventure in the bath. But, you know, that's a very high-intensity fishing area. So, uh, I want to go somewhere a little bit more calming. Somewhere where I can enjoy my evening. Yeah, you know, fishing at grottos, that's cool. It's like these little underground fishing holes. But you know what's even better? The bottom of the well. It's a, uh, very coveted, pristine fishing spot that all the good anglers know. So, I'm in here, fishing amongst the spirits of the dead, hoping I can catch a fish. And the layout here really works against you as a fisherman because the way the fish load in, they're basically behind walls or they get stuck on the floor or in the tiny little rivers that go around this area. And all these things suck. Man, it is so hard to catch a fish down here. When I first got here, my fishing rod actually was not working. I could swing it like a sword, so I decided to fight a Skulltula to see if I could defeat it. And it was interesting because every time I hit the Skulltula, it was playing the sound effect and the particle effect of a Deku stick hitting the Skulltula. So apparently the fishing rod has the power of a Deku stick, and I was able to defeat the spider with the fishing rod. But this does not solve our problem. The problem that fish here are really, really hard to catch. I basically gave up all hope and I was casting my rod through walls with my fingers crossed that something would bite. And after like 20 minutes of trying, I eventually found a room that would work. The fish were just kind of floating, but um, I managed to snag one, reel it in, and claim my prize in the bottom of the well. Nothing quite like catching a zombie fish, eh? So to finish this off, I went to Hyrule Castle in the room where you encounter Zelda. But there was a problem. Zelda was causing the game to crash when I was loading in my fish posse. So I did the most sensible thing I could think of. I sacrificed Zelda. <laughs> Look, we need to please the fish gods and it was the only way. So Zelda's gone, the timeline's ruined, but we can fish here in this awesome moat. Like, and if you think about it, that's really what's important, right? So I went down below, wading in the water with my tall boots, and I cast my line out beyond the castle walls. And eventually, I reeled in quite a prize. We had to kill Zelda, but I got the fish I was after. And then, <laughs> it started to rain. The sky was crying, and it was sad about what took place here. Even though looking up, it was all sunshine and rainbows. It's kind of funny, but I mentioned this before, but the roof in here is a solid object. It's not a sky, it does not move, it does not change with the time of day and the rain was just falling through the roof. Now, I realized the errors of my way, right? I understand I did a bad thing when I deleted Zelda, so I tried to make things right. I tried to add Zelda back to the map so that hopefully uh, things could be okay, but um, doing so caused Link eternal blindness, 
everything went black, and uh, from the shadowy realm, Zelda's trying to talk to me. As the dialogue progresses, everything in the universe just stops. The game soft locks. For some reason, the game's still running. I can't advance the text box. But uh, this is how our fishing adventure ends. We're blinded and frozen in a moment of time. But yeah, fishing in Hyrule, am I right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!